told me is the puro gami is entry of polen tube into ovule okay the porogamy is entry of pollen tube into ovule through the through the what medium is there mode is there through the through the okay now here options are there funical okay number one options are there funical number two options are there micro pile number three options are there integument and chalaza okay number three integument and fourth options are there chalaza yes tell me what is the what do you mean by porogamy yes right so it is entry of pollen tube into ovule through the micro pile so that is known as porogamy now next question that is important giving attention what is that the central cell after triple fusion okay next question is there the central cell after triple fusion becomes the central cell after triple fusion becomes what it form what is the result number one is take first option is take number two is pain number three is endosperm okay first is pick number two is pain third is endosperm and fourth one is embryo so fourth is embryo here you have to give attention pick means primary endosperm cell primary endosperm cell pain means primary endosperm nucleus okay and endosperm you know embryo you know we have discussed already okay so what will the answer most of the time students doing what they are giving answer pain or endosperm but this is not right it is asking the central cell after triple fusion becomes what primary endosperm cell then it goes to pn or endosperm so this you have to give attention and many times also seen questions so central cell after triple fusion becomes what primary endosperm cell okay now next question i'm asking in cereals the reserve food material are present in cereal okay in cereals the reserve food material the reserve food material are present in okay in cereals the reserve food material are present in now here options are there one is scutellum one option is there scutellum one option is there endosperm okay one is scutellum one is endosperm one is cotyledon one option is there cotyledon and last option is there none of these yes tell me what is the answer right so it is what it is endosperm where reserve food material are present next questions we will see
ना नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट पोलन पिस्टिल इंटरेक्शन वी डिस्कस ऑलरेडी सो पोलन पिस्टिल इंटरेक्शन इंक्लूड्स ऑल इवेंट्स पोलन पिस्टिल इंटरेक्शन इंक्लूड all events okay so what are the events are there from pollen first option is there from pollen deposition on stigma from pollen deposition on stigma what is that from pollen deposition on stigma until pollen tube is formed until pollen tube is formed okay so this is the first option next option is there from pollen deposition on stigma next option is there from pollen deposition on stigma from pollen deposition on stigma until pollen tube enters into ovule until pollen tube enters into ovule okay next option is there either a or either a sorry next option is there a and b both and next option is there none of these so what will the answer right so it is from pollen deposition on stigma until pollen tube enters into ovule okay so this is pollen pistil interaction now next question are asking double endosperm is formed in okay halobial uh, halobial endosperm is what mixed type so double endosperm double endosperm is found in double endosperm is found in first is rice wheat coconut rice wheat coconut okay rice wheat coconut and last one is p so what will the answer right so it is coconut that contains cellular as well as nuclear okay so both type that is halobial type of endosperm that is having double endosperm is found in coconut next question we have to see this type of questions is very important for your medical exam okay so at least while going into that you have to go through this questions okay now next we have to see that in the grass family the cotyledon is called few minutes ago we have discussed in cotyledons what i told in grass family in grass family means which they belongs monocots in grass family the cotyledon why they are asking cotyledon because cotyledon means functional cotyledon the cotyledon is called 
A is scutellum. Okay, so functional cotyledon is called what? Scutellum. Next is coleoptile. Coleoptile. Next is coleoriza. And last is none of these. Okay, so what will the answer? Right. So grass family, the cotyledon is called cotyledon means functional cotyledon is called scutellum. And if reduced or non-functional cotyledon means that is known as epiblast. Okay. Now next we have to see first we first we see endosperm development, then we see embryo development. Then we have to see seed development or seed formation, post-fertilization events. So next is seed formation. Okay, next is seed formation. Now, here already we know that ripened ovule, okay, ripened ovule after having fertilization form that is known as seed. So what we can say after fertilization ripened ovule is known as seed. After fertilization ripened ovule is known as seed. What they are known as? Seed. Now, this seed, one time the question is asked, asked already asked in AIPMT that a seed is and there one options were there. So, you have to remember this one that a seed is also defined as mature integument mega sporangium what i told seed is also defined as mature integument mega sporangium This line you have to remember. Okay. So, seed is what? Mature integument mega sporangium. Okay. Now, here what happens? The integument of ovule. Okay. The integument of ovule becoming the seed cover. That is known as seed coat. Okay. So, what I, I can tell? that integument of ovule, the integument of ovule forms covering of seed, covering of seed known as seed coat. They are known as what? Seed coat, okay. And we already discussed that mostly seed contain two type of integuments. One was outer integument and one is inner integument, okay. So, seed coat that formed by outer integument known as testa. What I told? or we can say easy way outer seed coat outer seed coat is known as testa and inner seed coat inner seed coat is known as tegmen Okay, so outer seed coat which form from outer integument and inner seed coat which form from inner integument. So that is known as 
testa and segment okay now in seed coat they contain minute pore and that is known as a micro pile so what it is telling micro pile remains as micro pile remains as micro pore on seed coat okay micro pile remains as micro pore on seed coat okay now sometime question asking what is the function of micro pile okay so micro pile function is facility providing entry of oxygen and nutrition okay so micro pile helps in entry of <coughs> oxygen and nutrition at which time during germination of seed okay so during germination of seed micro pile helps in entry of oxygen okay and nutrition into seed germination okay now most time what happens the nucleus is absorbed during seed germination nucleus is absorbed during seed germination okay but in some organism like papaya like black pepper like beet root like rubber what happens they contain a thin layer of nutritious part so we can say persistent endosperm known as perisperm and that is found where inside the seed coat okay so what we can say normally normally nucleus or we can say endosperm is completely com completely consumed but in some organism like papaya black paper okay like papaya black paper beetroot rubber beet root rubber persistent endosperm is there persistent endosperm is found and known as perisperm now here you have to remember that endosperm we are sometimes also telling nucellus nucellus okay so persistent normally nucellus is completely consumed nucellus nucleus is completely consumed or endosperm is completely consumed okay but in some organism what happens like papaya this uh, these examples you have to remember like papaya black paper beetroot rubber persistent endosperm or nucellus nucellus is found and known as peri sperm okay so peri sperm is found in papaya black paper beetroot rubber these are the examples you have to remember okay if in one line question are asking that what do you mean by peri sperm so peri sperm one line definition is there 
persistent nucellus persistent nucellus is known as peri sperm and it is found in where black pepper papaya beetroot rubber that already we have discussed okay now this mature seeds are having two types if endosperm completely consumed okay endosperm completely consumed that seed is known as a non endospermic or x albuminous seed so what we can say how many types of mature seeds so mature seeds are of two types one is when endosperm completely consumed and when endosperm completely not consumed okay so first one is a non endospermic first one non endospermic or x albuminous x albuminous seed as in name suggest non endospermic means no endosperm is found so where it is happens in seeds like pulses okay like gram pea groundnut okay so in seeds like gram pea groundnut etc endosperm is completely utilized endosperm is completely used completely utilized okay consumed by developing embryo okay so completely used by developing embryo and known as okay and that's why these are known as non endospermic and known as non endospermic or x albu minus seed okay x albu minus seed now next one is what when endosperm remains so that is known as endospermic or albuminous seed so next type is endospermic or albuminous seed okay endospermic or albumin as name suggest endosperm is present okay so where it will come in a monocot okay Me means cereals okay in monocots and castor cereals for come so in monocots and castor what happens embryo does not consume complete endosperm so in monocots mostly cereals castor etc embryo does not consume endosperm completely endosperm completely and known as endospermic or albuminous seed okay and that's why known as what endospermic or albuminous seed here you have to remember the examples monocots here what are the examples 
gram p ground nut okay so these two types of seeds are found okay now we will see these two types dicot seed and monocot seed now this time these two are cotyledons here small pores are there this is known as a micropyle this is seed coat that contain outer seed coat known as outer integument okay and this form outer seed coat known as we already discussed testa this one inner integument this form what tegumen that is also known as inner seed coat outer seed coat and inner seed coats so outer seed coat having outer integuments that forming testa and inner integument forming what tegumen okay here lower side they are protruding embryonal axis known as radical okay upper side protruding that is known as plumule this plumule develops what shoot system this radical develops what root system okay so this is dicot seed okay this is what dicot seed sometimes questions asking this radical develops from where so it is develops from hypocotyl and plumule develops from epicotyl okay so this is dicot now next we have to see monocot seed
दिस इज मोनोकॉट सीड already we discussed that upper portion which contains upper portion which contains nutrition it is endosperm this endosperm covered with one proteinous layer known as alluron layer this is proteinous made up of protein okay one functional cotyledon is there that is known as scutellum scutellum okay here this monocot seed upper portion that epicotyle this contain plumule this plumule covered with coleoptile so this is plumule this is coleoptile here lower portion same like it contains radical that is covered with coleoriza so what we can say this one is radical covered with coleoriza okay this endosperm contains what nutritious material that is responsible for seed germination here you have to remember this endosperm is covered with one proteinous layer and that that layer is known as alluron layer what is that alluron layer okay now so this what we have seen dicot seed and monocot seed endospermic seed and non endospermic seed now we have to see that seed viability now what do you mean by seed viability same thing power of germination activation time okay so what we can say the period for which so we have to see the period for which period means time the period for which seeds retain their power of germination seeds retain their power of germination so the period for which seeds retain their power of germination is called seed viability okay what it is the period for which seeds retain their power of germination is called seed viability now it may varies from few months to more okay it varies may be vary from few months to more so it varies from a species to a species a species to a species now here two things you have to remember that what is the most heaviest time period for seed viability recorded till yet okay so that we have to remember for example 
द ओल्डेस्ट ओके द ओल्डेस्ट इज दैट the oldest seed viability is recorded the oldest seed viability is recorded for lupinus okay it is one plant that name is lupinus okay aratikus lupinus 